हेलो एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल सो इट्स डे टू इन महाबलेश्वर एंड यस्टरडे वी वर टू टायर्ड आफ्टर वी विजिटेड पंचगनी एंड ओल्ड महाबलेश्वर टुडे वी आर सपोज टू रोम अराउंड प्रतापगढ़ फोर्ट एंड इट्स एट थर्टी राइट नाउ वी विल गेट रेडी हैव ब्रेकफास्ट एंड हाई आर न्यू कार टू विजिट प्रतापगढ़ फोर्ट so we are ready and set to move so we have decided to first cover venna lake and then uh, we will be moving towards uh, pratapgarh fort so so we have reached venna lake and uh, this is the place we are at venna lake right now and we have decided to uh, take a boat and uh, do rowing but uh, the rowing charges here is uh, 400 rupees and if if you take a person with you uh, like a guide they will be charging you 600 and if you want to do paddling then it's 600 so beautiful experience if you ever come to mahabaleshwar this is a must do thing and uh, do it on your own self like don't uh, take someone with you just ride yourself it's such an amazing experience and this is a 500 meter field and so if you ever come to uh, mahabaleshwar visit venna lake do boating do horse riding it's a must do thing uh, the charges for horse riding is 200 per person so after venna lake we are heading towards pratapgarh and uh, from venna lake to pratapgarh it's 22 kilometers and it would uh, easily take an hour to reach there so once we reach there we'll explore the whole place <laughs> so this is pratapgarh uh, we're on the way to pratapgarh and we have the scenic view we are at pratapgarh right now and i expected it took an hour to reach here from venna lake and i'm still in a dizzy state because of the guards they have this huge parking right behind me uh, so pratapgarh is easily accessible through roads so you can easily travel through cars pratapgarh is the first fort completely built newly by chhatrapati shivraya after defeating the land holder shivraya noticed a mountain at a very important place he immediately ordered to build a fort on it and it was pratapgarh pratapgarh is considered as a forest fort pratapgarh is at a lower elevation than mahabaleshwar in the main region of sayadri pratapgarh is situated at the middle of the pa pass and ambanali pass of sayadri to control these routes pratapgarh was the ideal place in shivraya's time the gate we entered through is the main gate you must walk straight from the parking lot to the main gate after few steps you can see the flag bastion i will go there and show you around On 10th November 1659 the battle of Pratapgarh took place. This battle is ranked in the most important wars in the history of the world. The meeting of Shivraya and Afzal Khan was held in a tent near Pratapgarh. Afzal Khan embraced Shivraya tightly. He held Shivraya's head in the armpit and made a stroke of a dagger on Shivraya's body. The stroke was failed as Shivraya was wearing body armor. 
the next moment shivraya torn afzal khan's belly with a weapon called wagnak which is also called as tiger claws and his intestine came out of stomach shivraya was a worshipper of goddess bhavani he built a temple for the goddess on pratapgarh and established idol of bhavani the idol was brought all the way from nepal to pratapgarh shivraya offered a large amount of gold weighing about 120 kg to the goddess bhavani this is made of pure gold in the battle of pratapgarh hambira moite used his sword to kill 600 afghan guardsmen in a single day handicraft center is outside the temple premises one can purchase books related to maratha empire also they have nice collection of decorative and articles made of wood Here at the fort you can have the traditional Maharashtrian food. The Shiv Ling found while constructing the fort is established here in the Kedareshwar temple. Before going to visit Afzal Khan, Shivraya worshiped Kedareshwar and then left the fort. and this is the view you get to see from the kedareshwar temple after the mandir we are going towards the statue of shivaji maharaj This point is called as punishment point. This is a spot from where the criminals were thrown into the valley as a death punishment. And here is the beautiful statue of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. After the independence of India on 20th November 1957, statue of Shivraya was inaugurated by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the then Prime Minister of India. In 1960, a garden and a rest house were built near the statue of Chhatrapati Shivraya. Pratapgarh, who stood firmly behind the Marathas at the war time, now stands tall, telling the story of Shivraya's ability and the capability of Marathas, the brave sons of this land. भी इस वक्त है ना प्रवीण हमारे नेबर जो बहुत एक्साइटेड है रोविंग के लिए वो रोविंग कर रहे हैं और देखो कितने एकदम प्रोफेशनली कर रहे एकदम परफेक्ट एकदम परफेक्ट कर रहे प्रवीण ये काफी रिस्की है इसके ऊपर काफी सारे लोग खड़े रह के फोटो निकाल दे सो ऐसे और भी बहुत एडे लोग है इधर और दो एडे लोग भी है 